The Canadian men's basketball team opened the 2013 Summer University Ad versus Sweden on Sunday night in Kazan, Russia. After a shaky start, Brady Heslip got the red and white on track, draining back-to-back -back threes to give Canada a 19-10 lead after the first quarter. Toronto native Dwight Powell took over with 8 points in the second as Canada held a 43-25 advantage at the half. Sweden closed the gap in the third, but some late work by Kevin Pangos and Powell saw Canada up by 11 heading into the final frame. Heslip added to his game-high 22 points in the fourth and Daniel Mullings capped off Canada's first victory with a dunk with 16 seconds remaining. What we're doing is we're, we're trying to develop players and you know we need to give them an opportunity to play and be on the court for five minute segments and we also think that you know one of our advantages can be to wear teams down and we've got we've got some depth in our country as far as basketball is concerned. Yeah, guys, guys just make great passes you know I was just there to knock down shots you know they, the guys do a great job finding me so. It's like when you start playing games again after a week or two or two and a half weeks off, it's like a little different. But, you know, like after the first quarter, I assume all the guys kind of just gelled back into it. But, I mean, we're, we were eager to play. We were sick and tired of practicing against ourselves and stuff. So we just wanted to play against somebody else. Canada's back in action tomorrow when they take on the United Arab Emirates at 8.30 p.m.